I am Anil Kumar and we are learning how to solve trigonometric equations involving single ratios. I hope you gone through this set of videos and by now you must be an expert. You know the four steps. First one to get the right quadrant then all possible solutions with reference to your reference angle and then you check your answer. This time the question here is cos square 2x equals to half x is between 0 to 2 pi. I'll request you to pause the video, answer this question. This is the kind of question you might just get in your test, right? Now here is my thinking and solution. What we have here is cos square of 2x where x is between 0 to 2 pi. First thing which you should consider here is the domain itself. So we are saying x is greater than or equal to 0 but is less than or equal to 2 pi. How about 2x? We have 2x here multiplied by 2. Then what do you get? That means we are looking for the interval 0 to 4 pi for 2x. That is kind of very important aspect. Do you understand? Okay. Let me rewrite the question to make it better for you. Let us say, let me say here like this. Let 2x equals to theta, right? If 2x is theta, then what? Correct. So we are saying 2x is theta. That means theta is between 0 to 4 pi. Do you get the idea? That is what we have. Then I am rewriting the question as cos square theta is equals to half. Do you see that? So when I am writing 2x as theta, I have to change this x to 2x, right? So it becomes 2x or I should now write theta since I have substituted 2x as theta between 0 to 4 pi just as we are writing here. So that is a very very critical step which at times you may not get. So look at it very carefully and now you can pause the video, solve and get all possible solutions. Now let's begin with our first step and that is we have cos square we want to find the reference angle so we have cos square theta equals to half so that means what that means cos theta equals to plus minus 1 over square root 2 right we'll square root it plus minus means all four quadrants correct so that is what we figured out we are looking for a solution in all four quadrants and the domain is 0 to 4 pi that means two circles. Do you see that? Two circles. So that means from 0 to pi to 2 pi to 3 pi to 4 pi. Do you get my point? So we are looking for eight possible solutions. That is how you have to think when you solve these questions. Right? So, so that is the first part. Now we will write this as a reference angle which is cos of alpha equals to 1 over square root 2 and alpha equals to cos inverse of 1 over square root 2 you can use your calculator or special triangle to get the answer so we get shift uh, cos inverse of um, I mean I put two brackets here anyway 1 divided by square root 2 and then you have to close this time with two brackets and you get pi by 4. Good. So you get pi by 4 as expected. Since you know pi by 4 special triangle, right? It gives you 1 over square root 2. The sides are 1, 1 square root 2 for pi by 4. So it's good to use special triangles. It's even faster. Correct? So you get one acute angle, pi by 4, as your answer. And that is for theta, right? So let me sketch pi by 4 here so it is in all four quadrants that is how it is now our angle is what we are saying is pi by 4 that means 1 pi by 4 and this is 3 pi by 4 this is 5 pi by 4 and this is 7 pi by 4 and then we have to again add 2 pi right so that is how we should be doing it so what we get here is theta is equals to pi by 4 and then this is the this is this one pi by 4 and then we come here 3 pi by 4 
and then this place 5 pi by 4 you know pi plus pi by 4 correct and then we have 7 pi by 4 now that is the first round then this is 8 pi by 4 that is 2 pi and then you go one more so we get 9 pi by 4 you get the idea right so 9 pi by 4 10 11 pi by 4 12 13 pi by 4 so okay so let me just continue here 13 pi by 4 and 14 15 pi by 4 do you see how I counted 15 pi by 4 16 will make it 4 pi got the idea right so this is 2 theta equals 2 but what is 2 theta 2 theta is 2x so 2x is all that you get my point I'm not rewriting this but I'm writing what x is equals to so x is equals to half of these values pi by 8 3 pi by 8 5 pi by 8 7 pi by 8 9 pi by 8 11 pi by 8 13 pi by 8 and 15 pi by 8 so these are all the possible solutions within the domain of 0 to 2 pi do you see x value it is less than 2 pi do you appreciate that part correct so that is how it is and graphically if you see then what we're looking for in this particular case is whenever you have 2x then we have got two waves within, within 2 pi since there are two waves within 2 pi we will get this kind of a solution I hope that helps so with this we kind of wind up on this single ratios you can now take up uh, the questions from the other videos which we have uh, where we have linear and quadratic equations and their combinations I'm Anil Kumar subscribe to my videos and learn thank you and all the best